It's one hour after people. All over the world, oil refineries and chemical plants are still pumping out the lifeblood once used to power cars and keep aircraft aloft. Thick plumes of steam continue to billow out from the dense cluster of refineries situated along the Houston shipping channel. In the time of humans, one-fifth of America's oil production passed through here, feeding an insatiable demand for fuel. Every day, the United States consumed 20 million barrels of oil. Everything seems to be running smoothly. But suddenly, alarm bells ring. Without people, the oil refineries are in trouble. There's a problem in the reactor, a tall column that helps break oil down to petroleum. Each refinery depends on storage tanks, some holding as many as 20 million gallons of oil, to feed the reactor continually. Just an hour after people, one of the feeder tanks has run dry. When the tank goes empty, the conditions inside that reactor just go chaotic because it expects to have continuous flow. In order for these reactors to work, you have to heat the oil to hundreds of degrees or maybe a thousand degrees. Without a fresh supply of incoming oil, the reactor turns the entire refinery into a ticking time bomb. In a life without people, there's nobody to react to that. And so the temperatures could escalate up to thousands, tens of thousands of degrees. But the reactor isn't entirely empty. Deadly gasoline vapors designed to burn only inside of a car engine linger. Runaway temperatures rupture the reactor, creating sparks and causing fumes to explode. Fire rushes through pipes that connect to a holding tank filled with already refined gasoline. It ignites. More sparks and heat ignite another tank. And then another. Within seconds, the entire refinery is on fire. In 2005, 15 workers died and another 170 were injured at an oil refinery in Texas City when unmonitored gasoline fumes found an igniting spark. In a life after people, there will be nothing and no one to prevent these refinery explosions. You can have a fire in one refinery and another one uh, half a mile away, and then those could lead to other fires in those refineries. So they happen one at a time, but once they start happening, it just increases exponentially. The fuel that once propelled humans around the world now fuels a seemingly endless inferno. One week into a life after people. As the oil refineries continue to burn in Texas, it's two months after people. Supplies of oil and petrol haven't run out yet. An apocalyptic firestorm still burns along Houston's shipping channel. In the time of humans, this area processed most of the one million barrels of crude oil produced in Texas every day, more than any other state in the country. Three months after people, Houston's oil refinery fires have finally exhausted their fuel. And since the world's oil refineries now lie in ruins, the 1.2 trillion barrels of crude oil that sit untapped beneath the Earth's surface will never propel any man-made machine again. <laughs>